look, it already looks like the smoothie. Look, it already looks like a Hailey Bieber Senior smoothie. Is this, did I win? Did I do it? Am I great at this? Hailey Bieber has a $17 skincare smoothie that actually costs closer to $20. And when I purchased this in Los Angeles, I thought to myself, damn, this is an expensive waste of money. I could do this, but better. I am going to remake the Hailey Bieber skincare smoothie for less money, and I'm gonna consume it for 30 days. I don't have an exact recipe. No one has shared the exact amounts or quantities of these foods or even where you buy them. So I went to Whole Foods because we don't have an ear one in the area near me, my total for this, without even considering the price of the protein and the things that I forgot, came to $111.70 something cents. That is an expensive smoothie. I'm scared, but ready to blend. What do we start with first? Cause I don't actually have measuring utensils. These are my measuring utensils. I think I'm gonna start with the banana. I feel like the banana is an essential part of a Bieber skincare smoothie. Um, when I tried Hailey Bieber skincare smoothie, it tasted like a banana cheesecake, like a strawberry banana-y cheesecake. Oh my God, such talent. Um, so I, I feel like the bananas are, are pretty critical. Bananas have tons of potassium. Um, if you get Charlie horses at the end of the night, um, shut up. Thank you. Bananas can definitely help. Uh, this is Wingardia Leviosa slice the avocado into fourths. Uh, and avocados are full of omega fatty acids. Oh, do you wanna see my trick for getting a seed out of an avocado? There's our avocado. I used to sit around and like dig at it. I'm like, it won't go. Uh, yeah. Ready? You slice, twist, and you say bye bitch. I'm so good. I'm, I'm the best avocado slicer that has ever sliced an avocado. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, a fourth of the slippery avocado just because I don't wanna overdo it. Oh, I forgot aloe vera too, didn't I? You know, we're gonna do it without the aloe vera and the reason why a lot of people um, wonder about like why eat aloe vera? What does it do? Um, it's a laxative. Not necessarily something I would need right now. Not necessarily something that I would totally recommend. Um, yes, aloe vera can be hydrating. There are some trace nutrients and minerals for your body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. However, it is primarily a laxative and um, I like it more on the skin than I do in the body. And remember that aloe vera, direct from the plant, it does contain aloe latex. So if you have a latex allergy, like yours truly, you're not gonna want to be messing around with that, okay? Okay, so rule number one of cooking, don't have large billowy sleeves. Um, I'm already breaking the rules, cause you know, love creating a little chaos. And I think I'm going to go in next with some strawberries. As mentioned, the strawberries have congealed themselves. So we don't just have one strawberry, uh, it's kind of like a party. They're gonna bring all of their friends. Oh, you know what else is confusing? No, 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 I'm not gonna put the strawberries because the strawberry is supposed to be a strawberry compote on the bottom. This is also what's tricky about the Hailey Bieber skin smoothie is that it's like, it has layers. Layers! Onions have layers. Like me and my emotions. There was like the strawberry custom goop at the bottom. Which by the, oh, oh, that's a lot of goop. And then we have the real smoothie. So I'm glad I thought about this, unlike the way I thought about the aloe vera. I have another one of these. These are from the Magic Bullet. They sold me this at two in the morning on one of those infomercials and it's actually a really good buy. I'm very glad that I bought this. This is the NeoCell, the true science of collagen, hyaluronic acid with vitamin C. This is the exact brand that Hailey Bieber used. And this was like a third of the grocery budget. This was like fudge muffins. This was a legit like $35. Now I'm loving that this is actually vegan hyaluronic acid. A lot of people are like, what is that? It sounds scary. Will it burn me? No, hyaluronic acid actually helps our joints. It is made inside of our bodies, our bodies make it naturally. You can get it from animals, but um, making it yourself is the best way to do it. Now, I actually don't know the science of consuming uh, hyaluronic acid. It says consume one tablespoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it. But hyaluronic acid is wonderful in skincare. It is a humectant. And in the body, I will need to find out more about what it does. Being, you know, kind of a sugar-like thing, I'm, a, I'm assuming it's good for hydration, maybe joint lubrication, just the way glutathione is. I don't know. It says cellular hydration and lubrication for skin and joints. Oh my God, do I know things or do I know things? 
things sometimes. Then we have this. I'm assuming this is a thickener. And the reason why is because it says it's a thickener. It says helps thicken recipes. I know that um, Irish sea moss is used in some vegan desserts, like little vegan cheesecakes, and it helps you to um, congeal things, which again, we've done a lot of congealing today. Um, I'm hoping this has a scooper. Yes, it does. And it doesn't say how much. Oh, it says one scoop. All right, it has sodium, calcium, and magnesium. Love some of those trace minerals. I'm gonna use like a half a scoop. And again, I'm assuming that Hailey Bieber used fancy skincare smoothie Irish sea moss, but we are budget babes over here. Okay, we want, oh, we want dates, dates. Okay, these are medjool dates. They are sweeter than regular dates. These do have fructose, which is a basically a plant sugar. Does not spike your insulin the way that other sugars do, uh, although it still, you know, gets converted by the body and the liver. This is the most dates I've had in five years. <laughs> If you've never eaten dates, uh, you need to check yourself. They're very good, they're very, very sweet, but they have the pits inside of them. So I'm going to use my caveman hands to take out the pits. Now, in my smoothie that I make for myself every single morning, I normally do about two to three dates. I'm, I'm just gonna rinse and repeat here and then hope, hope that that's good. And so far, is this all raw? I think this might be a raw recipe, maybe not the maple syrup. Anywho, um, coconut cream. This is something that I found and I looked at the top and it said expires June 27th. And I was like, oh, shiitake mushrooms. This is not gonna be good. And then I realized it was 2023. So when all else fails, keep reading. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> this is not the texture I was expecting. Again, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Uh, we're gonna go with that. Reminds me of the gifts that my cats give me after they eat grass, just a different color. Beautiful. <laughs> um, next thing, this is organic stevia. Stevia is a sweetener and um, it is a calorie free sweetener. There are many different types of sweeteners. The most common is something like aspartame. The problem is there have been some studies and some people saying that if you eat artificial sweeteners, it can actually have an impact on your gut's microbiome. And remember, our bodies are not controlled by us. We've got 40 trillion cells. Uh, our microbiome is that at a magnitude. I don't actually know what number, but holy guacamole, do we have a lot of bacteria? And there is some science showing that the bacteria controls us. For example, bacteria bacteria in our guts can create serotonin, which um, is, you know, often related to mood, not necessarily prevention or treatment of depression, but definitely related to our moods. And um, we don't want to mess that up. Now, the good news is that not all sweeteners mess up our gut microbiome and our gut flora. That is the good thing. Stevia is one that seems to be better, but uh, I am not a dietitian. I am a nutritionist, but not a dietitian. So go ask a microbiologist who doubles as a dietitian in that. This, however, happens to be the zero calorie sweetener. Is it, did I buy the regular one? Fudge muffins. I thought I bought the vanilla one. No. So I forgot the aloe vera and this. Okay. I totally picked the vanilla one up off the shelf and then I grabbed the regular one. This is a regular one. Hailey Bieber uses a vanilla one and um, I'm just going to do a quarter dropper because that stuff is real sweet and we put some dates in there. Darn it. Do I have any vanilla? Ugh. I don't believe I do. We just, we go with the flow. <laughs> and by flow, I mean the flow of stevia into my smoothie mug. I think that we're gonna add a little bit of maple syrup only to the bottom, along with this. So this is going to be our bottom custom compote, uh, along with some razzleberries. Oh, protein is the most important part. So when I actually bought the $17 Hailey Bieber skincare smoothie, I did not get protein, because again, don't do them vital proteins because they are not vital. This, on the other hand, is my favorite. This is a raw organic protein powder. It is unflavored with no stevia because we literally just added the stevia. Uh, but this is phenomenal. It is made locally, organic, non-GMO, and the whole thing about it is it has all of these amino acids. And remember, just because you eat collagen doesn't mean that your body or your skin will create more collagen. When you eat amino acids, your body doesn't know where to put it. It'll go to muscle. It'll go to other organ systems that need it most. So when it actually comes to collagen, as long as you're eating protein, as long as you're eating amino acids, acids, the building blocks of collagen, then, you know, your body can do what it needs to do. But there's no science showing that the collagen goes directly to the skin. More studies are being done because, you know, a lot of people want to make a lot of money off of it. But if you eat a healthy, well-balanced diet with your a protein, then you will be a happy, healthy camper. And by camper, I mean a kitchen klutz, if you're anything like me. So that is one and a half scoops because I'm just hoping that that is good. And then, I'm going to get some milk. This is not milk, this is milk. It only has four ingredients. I wanted to buy the calafia and laugh about it, 
but you know, I'm kind of going bananas over here. So I decided to try to stick to stick to the instructions. You know, some of us don't read the assignments. I am one of those people <laughs> more often than I'd like to admit. So I am filling with water or uh, milk up to the line. This is specifically filtered water, organic almonds, pure organic vanilla. Hey, I got the vanilla in here eventually. And then um, Himalayan pink sea salt. Oh, look, it already looks like the smoothie. Look, it already looks like a Haley Bieber senior smoothie. Is this, did I win? Did I do it? Am I great at this? Look at me using my biceps. This is just me showing off my biceps to all of my friends on the internet. Now it looks disgusting. Let's do this. going to give me hearing loss. However, um, this is looking suspiciously similar to the official Bieber smoothie. Um, as we let this, I'm assuming the iris sea moss from Bare Organics needs to congeal. As this congeals, um, I'm going to put in some of our blueberry and strawberry compote. Well, ooh. we're gonna put the maple syrup in the bottom too. And this is how I'm making my custom raspberry strawberry compote. These are some raspberries. And again, I don't, I don't know if hers had raspberries, but mine absolutely does, because I was not going to go without them. Oh! And this is the, this is the moment of truth and the moment of tasting. Ooh, smoothie with this. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna, ooh, look at me. I'm a barista, ready? Watch, I have, ooh, 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 and now, and we're gonna take our congealed banana. Oh man, this looks shockingly similar to what I drank for 17, actually $20 at Ye Juan. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a mess, that's what we got. And you know what, there is plenty to go around. So, it sounds questionable, but it kind of looks very similar. Oh! I made art out of my food. Is she beautiful? Is she talent? Is she beauty? Is she grace? Let's let's see um, how this compares to the seventeen dollars skincare smoothie. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Ready? Okay, this is the moment of truth. maple syrup I can fix this maybe it's because I didn't have vanilla stevia maybe it's because I'm addicted to sugar okay this is really bad I'm don't don't do this okay wait ready now it looks even prettier now it looks like a McFlurry mm. if you just get a bite of the raspberry and the maple syrup then it's really good maybe it was this Mmm, maybe it was the banana. I don't really love bananas. Maybe it's avocado. I mean, did the aloe vera make that much of a difference? I think not. Mmm. You see, you need the sweetness at the bottom. I, I'm going to consume this regrettably. I've spent, um, I've actually spent more than $100 because I spent $111 at Whole Foods and I actually had this, which was like 30. So this is becoming like a $150 extravaganza. Um, I will report back in 30 days and tell you if I become Hailey Bieber and glowing and smooth and beautiful and talented and artistic. What is in this? 